bunny just chilling in our backyard, like right across the way from where we are. Do you see that bunny, Gray? You see the bunny? He can't, he doesn't know where to look. You see the bunny? Look at that bunny, he's just chilling. You see the bunny? He's like, where? Come here, let me change your diaper. Come here. He does not like getting his diaper changed. Come here, let me change you. Can I change you? I've been sitting here for the past like five minutes waiting for him to come over here. You got a poopy diaper. Should I change it? Okay. Do you feel better? <laughs> he loves playing with these nose suckers. I've hardly ever had to use them. I guess they're pretty clean. So, hi guys. I guess I'm opening the vlog today. Um, this week's been pretty chill lately. I haven't had much to vlog about because there hasn't been much to do. Um, yesterday and today, Grayson's been waking up early, like 1.30. And so we have a whole afternoon and I'm just like, I don't know what to do. Like, it's still hot out. I don't want to go outside, but like we're running, like he's just getting bored with our house. Like. There's nothing new, there's, <laughs> you see him playing behind me, there's nothing new to do, there's our backyard, like, he won't swing for longer than two minutes anymore, he, he's just bored, and I need to be taking him out to different parks and stuff, but I just don't want to because it's so hot out. So, like, yesterday, he woke up early and we had a whole afternoon of nothing, and I was like, no, we're just gonna stick around the house, so we went on a walk, so that was good, but other than that, like, we just sat around and he was so bored and it was miserable so I don't want to do that again so I think we're gonna actually go to a park today earlier today we went to gymnastics class again so I'll input videos here of that <laughs> Loved it. It was super fun. The trampoline was definitely his favorite again, but he did more stuff on the mats, which was fun to watch. Um, it's fun. He can be active, and I keep hoping, like, oh, he'll be super tired by the time he goes down for a nap, but, like, today he didn't. He woke up at, like, 1.30. He did wake up with, like, a poopy diaper, so that might be why he's been waking up, but, like, I can't tell him when to poop and when not to poop. It just happens. So... Yeah, we've got a, it's like 2 o'clock now, and what are we going to do until he goes to bed? Or really, I just need to do stuff until like 5, 5.30 when he eats dinner. So it's like, what am I going to do till then? I guess we're going to go to the park. So. What is that? Is it your hippo? Oh, hippo. Oh, he wants me to sing. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. So yeah, he loved gymnastics. It was super funny because on the trampoline, he kept laying down on it and going, na night. <laughs> so I think he was tired, <laughs> but he had a good time. And now we're back and we're just chilling. He just woke up, changed his diaper. We'll go outside soon. Hopefully it's not too hot. It's only 81, so it's not that bad, but it's just super sunny. So I'm gonna have to put sunscreen on him. I don't know, like the past couple weeks, like when, 
fall officially started and Alice went back to school, I was like, okay, I'm on my own now. That's totally fine. Like, we're going to be busy. We're going to do stuff. And I had, like, a good steam going. We were, like, super busy for a couple weeks. And now it's, like, this week, I just, like, don't want to do anything. I don't want to go out. I don't want to just put in that effort. Like, I feel so lazy. Why am I so lazy? I don't know. But it's, like... I think it's because it's like we do stuff in the mornings and I'm like, okay, that should last us the rest of the day, but it doesn't. I have the afternoon to think about. And most of my mom's group's activities are in the morning. They're usually never in the afternoon because everybody, everybody's kid has different nap schedules, which I totally get. But then it's like, okay, so now what do I do in the afternoon? I don't know. So that's when we just need to go and explore parks. There's so many parks in Columbus and we've only been to a couple. We need to start going to more, but I think I just keep thinking like, oh, well, once it starts getting cooler outside, then we'll go. And it's not getting cooler outside. It's like, yeah, it's past the middle of September and it's still super hot, it feels like summer. So before I know it, it's just gonna go straight to winter and then I'm gonna be wishing we could go outside. I don't know what I'm gonna do in the winter. I mean, go to all the indoor places. There's like two that I know of that are free. The rest charge. So what are we supposed to do in the winter? I have no idea. Last winter was really hard for me because I was so just bored and stuck in the house. I don't know what I'm gonna do this year. We'll see, but the library. But unfortunately, again, the library is only in the mornings. Well, story time at least. I'm waiting for him to get a little bit bigger so we can like rent books and rent movies and like when do they start actually wanting to watch movies like he will not sit for anything unless it's little baby bum so I don't know he just needs to get a little bigger I keep saying that but then I look at him I'm like he's getting too big he needs to slow down so it's a double-edged sword 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 it's a double-edged sword but yeah that's what we're doing today so I thought I'd just bring you guys along kind of boring but oh well hmm <laughs> Forceful. Park. This is so cute. They've got a little grocery store. They've got a car. They've got a fire truck that Gray's driving. They've got a house and a fire engine house. And then a little slide and swings. This is perfect. You shift in the gears. Woohoo! Vroom, vroom. Are you driving the car? Do you want down? Uh. Yeah, do you want down? We've never been here before. And when I first put it in my Google Maps or GPS, it took me to the wrong place. Took me to a dead end, so I had to like Google the address and then we found it. And then the parking is inconvenient. It's like way down the hill over there. So I had to bring the stroller and take Gray and the stroller up here and then get him out. So that's not super convenient, but it's so cute. It's in a little, there's a little neighborhood back here. It's so cute to live here and have this park all the time. It's dead. There's no one here. We have the whole park to ourselves. That's usually how it is on during the week. Everybody's at school or probably at the parks where there's bigger areas. This is good for him. He's loving it. Are you in the house? Look at this cute little house. It's like perfect for Grayson. Yeah. Hi. Laura, you want me in? <gasps> Boom.
guys, I just wanted to close out this video. It's late at night, Grayson went to bed. He, we had a great time at the park. It was all to ourselves for a little bit and then this mom and her two kids came and played and her little boy was two years old, so he was about half a year older than Grayson. And it was so funny, those two kids, I'd never met them before, but they were very outgoing and very attached to me. They wanted me to follow them around everywhere, even though I had my own kid to follow her around. And Grayson was very jealous that I was giving my attention to somebody other than him. Um, he did not want the kids to be near him. He did not want to share any of the structures he was on. He needs a sibling because he does not like to share. It was so interesting to watch because usually, like, there's not... Well, I mean, like, he doesn't ever like to share what little kid does, but I've never had it to where, like, a kid was wanting my attention while he was there, and he did not like me giving my attention to other kids. So it was interesting to see, but that park was super cute. Hard to find, but now that I know where it is, we'll definitely have to go back because Grayson played there for, like, over an hour, which is unheard of for him. And it's only, like, 10 minutes from our house, so it was really fun. We had a good time and then we came back and I don't know what was wrong with Grayson, but he was just in a bad mood. And I've been trying to work with him on patience. I know teaching a not even a one and a half year old patience is like, what are you doing? But I'm just trying to instill that in him. So I talked a while ago, I'm trying to instill it in the mornings. I put him in his room while I go and get dressed in the mornings. It's like 10 minutes tops, usually only five minutes. In the evenings, I've now started to show him or teach him patience by me making dinner. I used to not want to make dinner while he was awake and I would used to only make dinner if he went to sleep. But who wants to eat dinner at like 7 30, 8 o'clock at night? No one. We're hungry at five or six. So I've started to, I'll put on a show for him. He's got all of his toys. You've seen it. He's got a million toys and I tell him to go play with his toys while I go make dinner. This is very hard for him because he wants me in the room with him. He wants me playing with his toys. But I was just like, no, like I'm making dinner. You can be patient while I make dinner. Usually dinner takes like a half hour at most. He can chill. Well, tonight I went a step further. So usually when I make dinner, I then wait until after he goes to bed to eat dinner because it's impossible to eat dinner. If I'm eating and I'm near him, he wants my food. He wants my attention. I don't have time for food. And so I end up just not eating the food and then it just sits on the counter and then it gets cold by the time he goes to bed and I can finally eat it. Well, tonight I was like, no, I'm hungry. I want to eat my dinner. I'm going to eat my dinner. And so I sat on the counter up high where he couldn't get me. And I sat and I enjoyed my spaghetti. He did not like that. He was at the bottom of my chair crying, throwing a tantrum, running around, mama, mama, wah, wah, wah. not happy. Then he would like get over it, go back into his area play with some toys or whatever anthony was even over here like he had another human over there but no it was because i wasn't over there with him so he was freaking out so he would be fine and then like two seconds later he would freak out again and come back over i took like five minutes to eat my meal and then i was back with him and he was just oh my gosh a mess and then i had the great idea to well if he's already in a bad mood might as well continue he really needed his fingernails cut and he hates getting his fingernails cut. Up until I'd say about a year old, he didn't care and I could do it whenever I wanted. Now he refuses. I have to put on a show to distract him and have Anthony hold him tight so I can get his fingernails. You've had your fingernails cut before. It does not hurt unless I get the skin, which sometimes happens if he's like running around like a madman. Well, Anthony was busy working on something and so I was like, well, either I wait till tomorrow when Anthony's free to cut his fingernails or I just try to do it now myself. And I was like, well, what? might as well try myself. So I backed him into this corner of the couch and I got the nail clippers out and he freaked out. I mean, Anthony said it sounded like I was harming him, which I was not. I was just cutting his nails. I mean... I don't know what his problem is. He was freaking out. And so I was cutting his nails. It took forever to do because of course he's 
screaming, thrashing, crazy, running around. I don't even know if I did a good job because he was so crazy. I mean, he was like red in the face, crying. It almost sounded like he was going to like throw up because he was like crying so much and coughing. Oh my gosh. So I finally got that done. I thought about trying to get his toes, but I was like, that's probably enough torture for now. Try to get those tomorrow, I guess, or something. But they were getting bad. I mean, his fingernails were getting so bad that he would like he would just try to like get my attention by pushing my face towards wherever he was and he would end up scratching me with his nails and I'm like no we can't do that anymore so it needed to be done but man so I got some good cuddles after that he was just laying on me and then it was time for bed so I was happy to put him to bed I don't know what it was with him but he was just, you would think like after a fun time at the park that he would be happy, but I don't know if the park just like took all the energy out of him. It was hot and sunny, so maybe he was just tired and then that just kind of escalated his mood. I don't know, but whew, that's why I didn't film it. So that's why I'm filming the update now, um, but yeah, so that's my life <laughs> with a one, almost one and a half year old. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. Give, uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know who you are. I love talking to my subscribers and getting to know you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber. We've got lots of fun things coming up. We're going to go to the zoo tomorrow. I'm going to be filming that. So stay tuned, um, and we're also going to be picking Grayson's Halloween costume this weekend, so you're going to want to see what we put him in. I don't even know what we're putting him in yet, so it's a surprise to me too. So make sure you subscribe so you can know when the next video is posted, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.